good morning student myself koushik chakraborty in my previous video lecture we discuss about the working principle of synchronous counter today our topic is synchronous mode counter everyone look here design of a synchronous mode 6 counter using check a flip flop step 1 the number of flip flops we know that the counting sequence for a mod 6 counter is 000, 000 001 010 0, 0, 011 100 101 and again return to 000, 000. it has six steps so it required n equal to 3 flip flop 3 flip flop can have eight state so the remaining two state 110 and 111 are invalid that means 110 and 111 value is don't care step 2 state diagram at this is the state diagram we will count we will start counting 00 state that means the next state is 001 next 010 next 011 next 100 next 101 and again return to 000 this is the two invalid state 110 and 111 step 3 the type of flip flops and excitation table jk flip flop are selected and the excitation table of a mod 6 counter using the JK flip flop is drawn as shown in the figure. State 110 and 111 can be removed from the state diagram if it is not required to determine whether the counter is self starting or not. This is the table. This is present state, this is next state, and this is the required excitation value. Here we use three flip flop. That's why Q3, Q2, Q1 is the present state. Q3, Q2, Q1 is also the next state. And the three flip flop is J3, K3, J2, K2, J1, K1. So look at the state diagram we will start the counting 0 0 state that means 0 0 0 is the present state that's why I put here 0 0 0 is the present state that's when next state is 0 0 1 next state is 0 0 1 next step 0 0 1 is the present state that means next state is 0 1 0 Next step, 0, 1, 0 is the present state. That means next state is 0, 1, 1. Next step, 0, 1, 1 is the present state. That means next state is 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0 is the present state. That means next state is 1, 0, 1. Next step, 1, 0, 1 is the present state. And next state is 0, 0, 0. Okay. Next, when we find the excitation table of J3, K3, fifth law, we need to work on the present state Q3 value and the next state Q3 value. So, present state Q3 value is 0. This time next state Q3 value is also 0. That means J3 value is 0 and K3 value is cross. Next Q3 value 0 and next state Q3 value is also 0. So that's why again the value is J3 value 0 and K3 value cross. So, we will extract the remaining value of the J3 K3 fifth flop in the same 
process next j2 k2 we find the excitation table of j2 k2 flip-flop we need to work on the present state q2 value and the next state q2 value so the present state q2 value is zero this time the next state q2 value is also zero that means j2 value is zero k2 value is cross present state q2 value is zero next state q2 value is one that means this time j2 value is one k2 value is cross present state q2 value is one next state q2 value is also one that means this time j2 value is cross k2 value is zero we will extract the remaining values of the j2 k2 flip-flop in the same process next is j1 k1 we find the excitation table of the j1 k1 flip-flop we need to work on the present state q1 value and the next state q1 value first the present state q1 value is zero and the next state q1 value is the one this time j value is one k value is cross next present state q1 value is one next state q1 value is zero this time j1 value is cross k1 value is one so we will extract the remaining value of the j1 k1 fifth lob in the same process next step is k map or the minimal expression so this is the k map of the j3 we put the value of j3 that's why this is the combination so the j3 equation is q2 q1 this is the k3 k map we put the value of k3 and this is the combination k3 equal to q1 this is the j2 k map and put the value of j2 that's that's why the j2 equal to q3 bar q1 this is the k2 k map and this is the combination the k2 equal to q1 and this is the j1 k map this is the combination so j1 equal to 1 and this is the k1 k map and we put the value of k1 and this is the combination so k1 equal to 1 so this is the logical diagram we have drawn the following circuit diagram using the above equation here we use three fifth flop j3 k3 j2 k2 and j1 k1 at first we see j1 value is 1 and k1 value is also 1 so j1 and k1 is connected each other and put the value is 1 next k2 value q1 and k3 value is also q1 so q1 is connected to k2 and is also connected to k3 next j2 value q3 bar q1 
j2 value q3 bar q1 q3 bar and q1 this is through and gate connected to j2 next j3 equal to q2 q1 j3 equal to q2 and q1 through and gate and connected to j3 this is the clock pulse these clock pulse are connected each other and next i give you some question that you have try yourself okay uh, so the first question is design of a synchronous mod 6 gray code counter using t flop second question design of a synchronous mod 10 gray code counter using t flop and the third question is design of a synchronous bcd counter using jk fifth love thank you